You're listening to Your Purpose and Business Podcast, where we connect you to possibilities. I'm your host, Raquel Walters, a two-time best-selling author, millennial speaker, corporate trainer, advocate, and clinical social worker at heart. Your Purpose and Business Podcast will connect you with everyday successful people who will share their impactful stories, insights, challenges, failures, and triumphs on how they're navigating the working world, whether by climbing the 95 corporate ladder or starting, growing, and scaling their business. So grab your pen and notebook because you'll want to implement the nuggets and tools, strategies shared in every episode. Class is in session. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Your Purpose and Business Podcast. I'm your host, Raquel Walters, and I'm here with the lovely Jamise J. Sky. And before I introduce you to Jamise, I want you to read you her bio in her own words. So the person that Jamise... J Sky is outside of my profession of being a nurse practitioner requires a more in-depth discussion. Who I was, I was a drifter. I'm divorced, a single mom who was looking for change. As a nurse practitioner, I already understood that our health is our greatest wealth, but the truth was I was in bondage for the majority of my adult life. I resigned my full-time position September 2019 as I found myself working a job that left me desiring more. I decided to say yes to an opportunity that helped me bridge the gap both professionally, physically, financially, mentally for myself and my daughter, now eight years old. I meditate, pray unseasonally through gratitude and I follow a principle-based life. I honestly never should have imagined how one yes would have changed my entire life. I lost 65 pounds, traveled to cities and states that I have never been, even with my daughter. I have been able to connect with people all over the world and birth my on-purpose baby. 1,000 healthy providers, a community of healthcare providers that are focused on self-care in the very sacrificial care-based, care-centered industry. 1,000 healthy providers prioritizes self-care, healing, wholeness, and wellness for the healthcare professional, as well as explores five domains of dimensional freedom. This is my year to become 40 and my year to touch seven figures by the grace of the Almighty. I give all glory to him. Ms. Jamis J. Sky, welcome to the Your Purpose and Business podcast. It's a pleasure to have you on today. Wow. Thank you so very much, Raquel. It is such an honor to be on this podcast, um, you know, to talk about, you know, things such as purpose and business, you know, um, you're doing such an amazing, uh, th- you know, things in your area, you're in the healthcare industry yourself, um, but you're stepping outside of, you know, your profession, you're stepping into, you know, what pulls you, you're stepping into your passion and your purpose, and then providing a platform for others, you know, to share their story and to perhaps do the same, you know, uh, perhaps a birth there you know, purpose, perhaps to, you know, create their own platform. And so I thank you for having me. I appreciate you. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you. And uh, your bio is so beautiful, uh, Jamis, but uh, please uh, tell us uh, something that is about you, something that you love to do, or um, that's not necessarily included in the bio that I just read. Oh, I mean, there's a lot, like I said, you know, um, you know, who is J Sky or who is Jamise when you ask me to send a bio, it's not something that I can, you know, just write on paper. Um, you know, that is, I'm not, you know, I'm not just a few words on paper. Um, and so, but if I had to think about, you know, who I am, um, you know, I'm becoming, I, I'm becoming like, you know, when I created um, that name, that username, that password or whatever user on Instagram three or four years ago, I really didn't know what that meant, to be honest. Um, it was, you know, I, I asked that God order my steps. Um, you know, this is something that I've asked for as long as I can remember, you know, as long as I've been a faith, you know, based individual, you know, order my steps. I remember when I was, um, I was in, in middle school, I was in middle school and I had no confidence. I was that fat 
fat little chubby girl, dark skin, cur like jer jerry curl, you know, all of that, right? Didn't have a boyfriend. Nobody was like my, the one boy I like, Ola, Ola Dapo. I remember him. Okay. <laughs> he, 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 he wasn't interested in me. And I remember walking into the auditorium one time, um, it's a school in, in, in Miami and it was hundreds of, it was a kind of like a little rough school and hundreds of kids were in the auditorium and there was a dance um, happening or like some sort of big event in the auditorium. And it was a theatrical dance. And they were, you know, the song they chose was Order My Steps. And I can tell you, I was, like I said, I was, I don't know, middle school is, is, is what, eight through or five through eight or something like that. That's the grade for middle school. I can tell you that that audio, putting myself in that environment changed like so many things for me from that point it was a, it was something that I indoctrinated order my steps Lord order my steps and I believe that he is doing just that I believe that he is ordering my steps when I got married that was the song that that plays when I you know um just it, it, it is I am a person who is faith-based I believe in a I'm, I'm, I'm very spiritual okay I'm a I'm, I believe in God. Okay. I don't have no problem saying I believe in God. I believe in, you know, Jesus Christ. He died for me. And, um, I believe in being a principle based individual, like living a principle based life, the laws that govern the world, the universe, like the laws of attraction, you know, the law of reciprocity, the law of giving, you know, just so many things, but I didn't know any of this before a few years ago before like I tapped in I just I just was you know I was trusting in God that he is gonna take me where I needed to be and so I I named myself you know on Instagram becoming J Scott I've been that um for the last however long I've been on Instagram and every day I'm blessed by you know his grace and mercy every day I get to you know um tap into my next my next level my next thought my next you know um um blessing I feel I feel so blessed so you know Jay Jay is blessed Jay is you know a believer uh, in the most high God, I give him all the, the honor and the praise for everything that he's doing. I know that nothing happens uh, by happenstance. Okay. Nothing happens without his, okay, his, his authorization. So mm -hmm. therefore, you know, whatever challenges that I come across, I give him, I give him honor in those challenges. I give him Thanksgiving in those challenges because I'm, I'm grateful in those challenges because I know it is making it, it, it is creating um, my next level. is is making me becoming J Sky. So yes, yes, I'm a lot. I'm a lot, girl. I'm a lot, yeah, child. And I love when you said becoming, um, because you know we're all becoming. We're transforming each and every um single day, year, mm -hmm. right? And so um, how does all of this tie into your purpose that you believe you have in um this world, J? So. It, it all ties in like, you know, a perfectly woven, you know, um, beautifully crafted, you know, quilt, um, something like, you know, divine because, you know, because I believe that I'm led by God, that God is ordering my steps, um, you know, that nothing happens, you know, to me, everything happens for me. Um, you, you know, I know that when he puts, you know, a thought, or, or allows me to have a creative moment, or, you know, gives me a challenge, like I said, you know, it's, it's just putting me in the path of my purpose, or it's keeping me on path of my purpose, or it's, you know, redirecting me where I need to go. So, you know, I just believe that my father in heaven, the universal laws are always in a play, in play, and, you know, he's allowing me to walk into my purpose, which is to help, you know, um, 1000 healthy providers, which is to, you know, have a, a, um, a global impact on not just, you know, it, it's 1000 healthy providers because it's going to be 1000 providers every single day. Every single day, I will help 1000 providers become happier, healthier, heal and whole, mm -hmm. right? I will, I will help the provider learn how to put self-care into healthcare. 
I'm going to change, I'm going to shift the paradigm of the healthcare industry as a whole, as a totality. Yes. My yes. concepts, my paradigm is going to be in nursing schools, in nursing colleges, in, in, in MD programs, in dentistry. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I know that he is, he's, he's the author and the finisher. And mm -hmm. so nothing is too great for him. My, my purpose, it does scare me sometimes. It has scared me. You know, I've, I've been like, yeah, that's what I'm supposed to, yeah. <laughs> that's a lot, Lord, you know, <laughs> um, but you know, it's going to come to pass. He put it, he put it in me. He, he, he gave me this baby and I'm going to, it's going to come to pass because I trust him. And I know he's yeah. ordering my steps, so it, it all ties together for me. No, absolutely, and 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 it, it just it, it just just amazes me how your life you're still living out that theme song, so to speak, order my steps, you know, and uh, you know I wanna I wanna ask you if if I could um Jay, so you're a registered nurse practitioner and you've been working in healthcare for many years and um you left your job back in 2019 for a bigger purpose, a bigger cause, a bigger calling. Um, if you will, on your life. And so um, speak to us, if you may, about what was your thought process during that um, transition for you? Was it hard? I know you're a business owner. I know you're in the health and wellness um, space, but I wanted um, to get more into that transition because a lot of times, especially now in today's society, and for a lot of people, um, making that change, especially when it's uh, a change of a job, a change of a relationship, it could be anything, right? It's sometimes um, hard for a lot of people to make pivots in their life. And, and that was a big one for you. Yes. Um, so yeah, you know, I'll take you back to that time in 2019. It's a time that I remember like yesterday. Um, I remember details about that moment. Um, but what I'll say just to start off, it was the most peaceful transition of my life the most peaceful transition of my life, more peaceful than me, you know, getting divorced, you know, me, me stepping away from my job was the most peaceful transition of my life. And so it was September 19, excuse me, September 14, um, 2019, when I was able to share my story about me, um, resigning, um, as a nurse practitioner, I've been in the industry for 17 years now. Um, you know, I, I, I have a lot of loans, you know, pursuing my, my path, my, my profession as a nurse practitioner. Um, you know, I have a lot of responsibilities. Um, and so I can tell you that um, I love helping people. I love being a nurse, but I don't think that, you know, God just purposed me to just stay in that domain, you know, stay in that, um, in, in that element. I think he purposed me for something bigger, but he, he, but he also purposed that I go through that, that I go through being a nurse and having to, you know, work 12 hours, um, you know, and not even get to really 13 hours and not even get to release your bowels and your bladder. And so because of it, you go 13, 12, 12, 13 hours without urinating because everybody's needs are so much more important. You don't eat, you don't urinate. And then you end up, when you finally get to urinate, guess what? You're, you're urinating blood. That happened to me, you know? And I, you know, th the profession of nursing is very, very sacrificial. And that was before COVID. Yes. And I'm, I'm going somewhere with this. I know, you know, you asked me a specific question, but I'm going somewhere with this because, mm -hmm. you know, nursing is very, very sacrificial. And I found myself in a position where, um, you know, I gave my all. I almost died, okay, to, 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 you know, to serve at the bedside. And it's not any fault of the, you know, the, the, patients or whatever it's not that it's just a comp it's just how the industry is and it's a combination of things and God needed me to go through that challenge to 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 know you know what Jay you deserve more and I'll tell you what happened you know I was sad I was depressed I was you know going through some you know tough challenges in my marriage um uh I actually had already divorced at that time but leading up to you know me you know leaving my 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 job I, I was a single mom already at that time I had already divorced but because I had divorced um you know I was having to tap into working more 
I had to work more. I had to sacrifice more. I was already sacrificing so much. I was already sacrificing so, so much. And I needed to find something to tie the ends together, right? Because now I'm doing it on my own. And a patient, you know, actually, you know, came and he, he, he showed, he showed me some, some, um, well, I saw his results. And so, um, you know, I asked him about these results and I was able to find out that he was drinking like this detox tea. And I don't want to get too much into that, but, you know, that one conversation led to another conversation, led to, you know, me losing 65 pounds, led to me, you know, finding out, you know, that, you know, I, I'm, I'm beautiful, like, you know, to, for me feeling that I'm beautiful, me, you know, investing in myself, um, it just changed the game for me. When I went through that process of detoxing, I began to know my heavenly father in a more intimate way. I could connect with him in a more intimate way. Like, you know, I released so many toxins out of my system. Not only, you know, did it show on, on, on the outside, man, I felt it on the inside. And so I had this relationship with my heavenly father. And on September, I had been praying about this moment. But on September 9, 2019, I was driving down the highway trying to get to one of the hospitals, you know, one of the same highway for, I don't know if you're from Miami, well, you're not from Miami, but we have like a, a busy, busy highway, okay? And I crossed five lanes of traffic to, you know, get to another ho um, hospital because the doctor needed me at a different location, like in, in, in this instant. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I was driving to work and, God downloaded to me. He said, it's time. Mm -hmm. I sent in my resignation letter on I-95 with one hand on a wheel and the other hand on sin. Wow. And I sent in my resignation letter and I said, you know what? I feel like I'm undervalued. I'm underpaid. You know, I'm not appreciated. And God got me. So I, I, I listened. I was obedient. He told me that he said, it's time. I sent that resignation letter in. I was at such peace about it. And I wow. went into work, sent the resignation. I continued to serve in excellence, do my job in excellence. And, you know, I, on uh, because I actually, they told me, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't like people telling me what I can't do. You know, they told me when I can't, when I can and can't take vacation, you know, they told me, you know, if my, if my daughter is sick, you know, I'm gonna have to find somebody to cover so I can, you know, tend to my daughter, like, I, I, that don't work for me. I'm a child of the most high God. Like you, you, you're not going to talk to me like that, bro. Yes. So, wow. um, yeah, it was, it was a great transition. Um, it was amazing. Just like every transition in my life, mm -hmm. I put my trust in, in the Lord and he's just made it do what it do. Yes. The most beautiful thing, the most beautiful time. That, that's amazing, um, Jamise, because you know what, as you were telling your story, it brought me back to September 2019, because I don't know if I've shared this with you or you know this, but back in September 2019, I watched you on that stage in Manhattan at the Total Life Changes uh, conference there. Oh, wow. And lo and behold, <laughs> you know, you know, we, we, we've done, um, you know, collaborated before, and now I get the, the, the honor and the opportunity for interviewing you, so you could tell the audience more about your story. So, you know just it, it it just warms my heart um the transformation that I've seen and the growth in you and um I know that you have so much more to give you know and so much um more to offer the world and so tell us um Jimmy so you know we know that you're a part of the health and wellness um field and that is a part of your business as well and so Definitely feel free to share more about the business aspect of um, you helping a thousand healthy providers through um, the, the vehicle that you're using. Um, so go ahead and, and just tell us more. Well, um, you know, 1000 healthy providers, um, it came, you know, at a time where I needed it, you know, because I am a provider. And like I said, we're so sacrificial. We, when I say sacrificial, you know, we give of ourselves so much. We are like, just like every, you know, the, the nation, you know, some of the uh, un most unhealthy individuals because um, the healthcare industry, which encompasses, you know, every, er anything that you think about healthcare, 
the healthcare industry is the largest industry in the entire world, okay? And so, uh, you know, being, being as such, you know, it's very demanding. And it came at a time where, you know, like I said, I was, I was, I had already divorced, you know, I had lost this weight. Um, you know, I was, I was connected more spiritually and I was able to, you know, hear from God, you know, and see things more clearly. And, um, you know, he gave me 1000 healthy providers. Um, it was called 1000 providers, uh, initially. And then, you know, I changed it to 1000 healthy providers. Um, but it is, it's, it is tapping into five domains of, uh, of freedom for the provider, okay? And we're talking about self-care, okay? Giving your, being, being self, you know, selfish or, or giving, you know, we, we have to start changing the, the way we think about certain terms. You know, when you think of selfish, you might think of it as a negative thing. Well, I, I don't think of it as a negative thing anymore. I think that, you know, if I'm not healthy, I shouldn't be going to the hospital and telling this, uh, you know, individual, well, sir, ma'am, you need to be, um, you know, working out or, or practicing 30 minutes of exercise, the American Heart Association, you know, that's the guidelines, you need to eat this, that and third, and you need to not smoke, I don't smoke, but uh, you need to just, I, 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 I don't, it, it doesn't serve me to be like a, a, a liar. <laughs> um, that didn't, that didn't make me feel good because yeah. when, when that patient told me what he was doing, what he had done to change his life, I was nearly 200 pounds. And, you know, I was telling, I was charting in the chart, you know, what he and I had discussed about, you know, how he could improve her, his health, but I was so unhealthy. Mm -hmm. I, I was, I was, I was, like I said, I was depressed. I was, I was overweight. I was nearly 200 pounds. I was anxious. And so I said, I got to give myself what I need. Mm -hmm. And so that's where, you know, um, 1000 healthy providers were, were birthed because I, you know, have connections in the healthcare industry, doctors, nurses, you know, you know, see whatever, everybody, you know, it doesn't matter if, if you're, you know, a doctor or a nurse, at, you know, people in the hospital, they know me. Okay. I, I had privileges in like five hospitals, you know, here in South Florida. And so, you know, um, I want to help the people who are helping the people mm -hmm. because we, we don't put the attention where it needs to go. And so I want to serve the providers. I want to serve that, you know, patient care tech. I want to serve that diet, that diet, dietitian. I want to serve that physical therapist that, you know, um, that, that doctor, I want to serve them with excellence. And I want to say, Hey doc, you know what? I, I, I know you're not, you know, um, you know, feeling well today you know, you look so tired, you're not resting, you know, you're, you're, I, I know you're dumb. Mm -hmm. I want to serve you. And so that's where 1000 people, uh, sorry, I just saw a comment here. Uh, 1000 healthy providers came from, um, it, it is out of a need, you know, to serve the healthcare industry, mm -hmm. to serve the people who are serving everybody else. Those, um, what they call them first responders, you know, everybody, you know, here, the first hero, the, the responder heroes and all of this, we've been doing that. Mm -hmm. We've been doing that. We've been sacrificing our life. Mm -hmm. That ain't nothing new. And so, you know, somebody needs to, to, to respond or, or be, um, really be an advocate for the healthcare profession. And so that's where um, 1000 Healthy Providers come in. So I help people tap into, you know, financial freedom, you know, spirit, I have a, um, a spiritual advisor, if you want to call him, he's a minister, a preacher, um, you know, and so you need somebody to pray for you. You know, I have, um, you know, him on board, um, brother Alvin L. Daniels. I have two, two counselors, uh, two therapists, um, you know, the financial aspect, Hey, if you need to, you know, tap into some residual income, you know, let's have a conversation, but guess what? You need to be healthy first. You need, you need right. to um, take some vitamins. You need to detox. I'm, I'm telling you, you need to do it because I needed to do it. And I'm, I'm you and you are me. Okay. So I know you and you know me. And so, you know, that's where, um, you know, I'm able to share some amazing products with them um, that, you know, I won't die my products over here. 
Yeah, as I get to, you know, serve them, I get to, I get to make the people feel good. I get to make the providers feel real good. Right. And then um, that's like a trickle, it's like a trickling effect for their families and the community. It's a big deal. Yeah, yeah. And I, I love that you highlighted, um, you know, the, the dire need for many healthcare workers to start putting ourselves um, first and being a little bit more selfish, you know, because we're serving. And so, um, you know, oftentimes, you know, you're, you're neglected, you, you put yourself on the back burner, um, because, right. you know, you put your patients first, but, you know, um, you want to flip the script in terms of, um, you know, be there of service um, with, you know, health and wellness um products and, and and services to the first responders you know so i think that is um so important and you know i applaud you for that and by the way i didn't touch on your weight loss but kudos to you 65 pounds that's amazing it's very um mm. you, you know um you know impressive and you know and i know that your story is going to help so many more people that um is struggling and not only with weight loss but with depression or they're they're feeling down um, they wanted to make a change you're not sure how you know what I mean you spoke about that detox and um, yeah. how it also connected you um, spiritually as well um, to God um, so it's it's not about detox for weight loss it's about um, just a total uh, change um, of your life right yes. and so so um, Jay are you working on any projects um, at the moment that you would love to share with the audience uh, yeah, you know, I'm in a, I'm, I'm doing a couple projects, um, you know, I'm helping my daughter launch her business, nice. um, her lip gloss line, uh, Cherry Sky Collection. I am, um, um, a community liaison, um, community advocate, community concierge, like a, a I don't know, so many different titles, uh, for Girl Hold My Hand, mm -hmm. um, which is an amazing, amazing, amazing community of uh, women. Uh, we're growing our men community. Um, it's a global community that um, is uh, headed by the visionary coach Stormy Nicole Wellington. Uh, she's my coach. She's my she's my angel. You know, um, you know, she's she's everything. And so, um, you know, I'm able to serve in her community. Um, and and so, you know, that's happening. We have a lot of things happening in that community. I'll be, we'll be on here for a while. Um, <laughs> but yeah, girl, hold my hand um, is a blessing. I'm able to. Um, and I'm also, you know, um, getting back out there to connect with the um, healthcare providers like intimately um, because because when I did resign, you know, I was no longer in the hospital. And so I was basically having the connections that I had from before. But now I am um, I'm actually tapping back into the hospital. Um, I actually I'm on call right now for the hospital. Um, so I work from home. Mm -hmm. I'm blessed to do that as a nurse practitioner. And so, you know, connecting with the physicians with the pandemic, you know, um, you know, the even even more so the providers need um, an outlet mm -hmm. to talk to to talk to counselors, you know, to feel better, to have vitamins, to boost their immune system. They're in the fire, you know, um, they're they're exposed, you know, they're stressed like they need my help. Mm -hmm. And I, and I'm, and I'm honored and blessed to help them. So that is, that is my, one of my biggest projects, you know, um, you know, 1000 healthy providers, but those things, Cherry Sky Collection, um, Girl Hold My Hand, mm -hmm. um, and uh, 1000 healthy providers TLC of course I'm sorry yeah. TLC yeah. is for you it's for me so those are a couple of big projects that I'm on awesome awesome sounds so great and lastly Jay, Jay um definitely share with us um how the audience can get in contact with you um sure 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 so uh you can see me on Instagram becoming Jay Sky um as well as um my other page which is 1000 healthy providers that's 1000 1000 healthy providers on Instagram um or you can um uh, you know email um you can email me at 1k providers um, at yahoo.com. Um, the website for 1k is 1k, 1khp.org is, um, you know, is under construction right now. So those, um, two methods are the best methods to reach me Instagram on my private page and on my, um, 
business page. Awesome. And in closing, um, Jay, is there a scripture or a mantra that, uh, you know, tends to come at the top of your head each morning um, that keeps you grounded? And if so, could you share with us? A scripture or a mantra? Oof. Well, I tap into a lot of mantras. Um, I tap into like that de declarations, affirmations. You know, I meditate um, every morning with my coach, uh, Coach Stormy that I mentioned, Stormy Nicole Wellington. Um, and so there is a lot that I, I feed myself, you know, internally every day, like a lot of dialogue. But um, one thing that, you know, I'll say is be anxious for nothing. That's the word that's that's, you know, I don't know what scripture it is. Um, but I know he, you know, in his word, he said, be anxious for nothing. And so to me, that means trust him. Mm -hmm. To me, that means believe that I, I will do what I said I will do. And so, you know, that's, that's, that's my word that, you know, I rely on, um, when, you know, throughout the day, every day. Um, and so, you know, I, I have a lot of mantras, like when 11, 11 comes, I'm, I'm saying affirmations to myself, you know, um, I am so happy and grateful now, cherish and I will live a long, long life, 90 plus plus years, each full of love, peace, prosperity, health, wealth, abundance, and gratitude, cherish and I shall travel across the world together, sitting on beaches, watching waterfalls, travel across the world near and far, by God's grace and mercy, every day we are protected and have provisions, every single day we are helping 1,000 providers become happier, healthier, healed, and whole, I say amen, and so that that's me that's i'm 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 on that i'm 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 definitely on that um time um and so yeah I love it. I love it. And so, Ms. Jemis, again, thank you for being on the Your Purpose and Business podcast. And, you know, I know you're going to go out there and continue to change the world. And so, guys, with that being said, remember, be good to yourself and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye for now. Thank you for listening. If you've loved this episode, let's stay in touch. Head over to RaquelWalters.com and subscribe to my email list so that I can send you updates on new episodes, exclusive motivational nuggets, and insider knowledge that's only shared when you join our community. Please don't forget to subscribe to this podcast and leave a review as I want to know your thoughts about every episode. Follow me on Instagram at Your Purpose and Business Podcast. And remember, your life is beautiful. And this is a part of your journey. So embrace it. Speak to you soon.